Hey, good morning. Let's have a look at a barrel lap, a tool for fine finishing and high precision, but a very simple tool. Let's have a look at one. I got a commercially made one here and I'll talk about it. Come on. Here we go. Got it over here in this old antique Monarch 10 double E lathe. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out here and let's look at it. Okay, it's got a tapered shank, see? And then it's got this adjusting collar here that's threaded. Okay, let's get it in there. There we go. Set that right there. Now, we got the tapered part here, and here's the lap body itself. Now, it's got an internal taper to match, and it's got saw cuts, you see? And they, they terminate in a drill hole. See, there's a saw cut here, a saw cut here. And that allows this to expand as it's pushed on to that taper. Let's get that back collar there. Now here's the front part. It's got a, you know, a little bevel here to fit here. And, you know, you can make these really quite easily. You know, it, it's not hard. But I wanted to show you the construction of this so you could make one. Now, um, this is a Kentmore tool made for Harley-Davidson. And what you lap on the Harley-Davidson, or one of the things, is uh, the connecting rod bearings. It's a Harley-Davidson connecting rod. And the bearings, uh, the lower bearing is a hard steel uh, sleeve. And uh, you press them in there. And of course, uh, when you press... Um, uh, something in it's going to distort, right? So this is the tool that they, um, the factory uh, uh, provides the dealerships to um, to take care of this. And I'm going to demonstrate it, and just kind of lapping in general a little bit here. So I'm going to get that on there. We'll back that off and, and push it. See, it's real loose. Okay, I'm going to get her tight. All right, there we go. Now, this rod's made out of malleable cast iron. And the... Uh, oh, let me get this all locked up here. Uh, and they're really quite bendable. You know, they're uh, malleable. You can bend it really easy. Now, I really got to push that on there quite a bit. Get her on there. Uh -huh. ah, I'm just going to back that off a whole bunch. Get in there. No, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it tight. I think that might be just about good there. Okay. Might be a little tight. I don't know. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't know. I go the wrong way sometimes. Okay, I want to try that. I'll back it off. Okay, start up the machine. Crank the speed all the way down. Let's 
Now, this is clover compound, grade C, and it's silicon carbide. Now, I'm going to put some on there. It's got oil in there, okay? And I'm just going to put some on. Smear it around a little bit. Then I'm going to get some oil, just some oil on that, okay? Get the rod on there. Okay, got to be careful doing this. Here we go. So you have to work it back and forth like you're honing. Okay, you stop it. You have to stop the machine. You gotta reverse it. Here we go. Okay, this is how you check it. Dial bore gauge. See? Now, one of the things that's going to happen when you're doing this, I actually took it out about a tenth. Um, yeah, just, uh, just a, a tenth. Is um, you have a wet and dry lap. And when you put the when you put the compound on there and it's wet, it's going to cut fast. But it's also going to pile up as um, as you're moving this back and forth like this. That compound piles up and it bell mouths. You start bell mouthing the uh, the piece, and uh, that means the uh, the diameter right on the edges here get larger. So, when you're getting close to size, you want to let the lap dry, dry down. Don't put any more stuff on it. And if it squeaks, just put a drop of oil on it and snug it and, and do it with a drier lap and you'll uh, take out the bell mouth. So you can cut fast with a lot of compound on the lap. But when you're going for the accuracy, let it dry out. Okay, now another thing. The compound I used here is a clover compound. It's uh, silicon carbide. And uh, where did I set that can? Right here. And this is like 220 grit. But silicon carbide breaks down. And so it's going to continually to get finer. And you're going to get a finer and finer finish. And uh, you don't have to uh, 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 use a different lap for different grits if you're using this. This uh, silicon carbide. This is the traditional stuff. I see people on the internet coming up with stuff in different looking cans. I don't know what that crap is, but this is what you want to use. Use the right stuff. And uh, this is uh, this is an industrial tool. And I think I got a couple of seconds here. I'll show you the other. It, it's co parts. All right. It's made by the Kentmore Tool Company. Now over here is uh, the main bearing lap here. And this is a piloted lap, see? And it adjusts the same way. So this would lap a, a, 
uh, a main case bearing on one side, well, this is stuck in the race on the other. Then you turn it around, change laps, whatever, depending on the year of the motor. But I can tell you, this tool here was over $700 in the 1970s, this. But you can make that, you know. Um, so I just thought I'd point that out a little bit, kind of introduce you to uh, um, industrial uh, grade lapping tools and uh, a tried and true method. So I'll let it go at this. And if anybody has any questions, I can pick it up on another video. Okay, I'm going to clean up the lapping compound off that old lathe. Bye for now.